Holy crap, tubes. It is hot out here. Step out of the garage. It's probably, it's, it, it, the garage is the same temperature as outside. <sighs> but since it's nice and hot, great time to do some uh, body work, huh? All right, now I wanna get ready to do some painting on this thing here. And original ID, or original plan for this is to paint this lower body line, same color as the top right here. And so, um, I want to get start getting rid of this. I'm gonna end up standing up here. It's basically this line right here, just following the top of the line. I don't know how I'm gonna deal with this. I could repaint it a different color or try and match this color, but that's kind of a pain in the ass, so. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do. I might end up just freaking, we'll make our own paint booth out here and just paint the whole damn truck. Not. Oh god damn it! Son of a bitch! <laughs> <laughs> I'd find the same color and just one section at a time paint her up so but I'd like to stick with the same color I really like it um, but I want to work on getting rid of this and then I want to look at cleaning this up basically just this whole seam up here I want to clean it up and smooth it out so, like all this. So, I don't know if I should get, look at getting some kind of cab sealer or just bondo this over and just smooth it out. So, that's something I would like to learn how to do. So that way, whatever else I get later down the road, I can fix like stuff like this, this door. This is the, this has got the original doors on it and everything and I wanna, you know, get rid of this, all this bubbling stuff. I just wanna get rid of it, re clear it out and reseal it. So, it's gonna look ugly for a little bit, but I'm gonna go get some paint and stuff for this. I wanna get sand this, I wanna sand this down and see what's under there. AutoZone, because yeah, I got twenty dollars on my uh, rewards, so I'm gonna be going to get some supplies for our project that we're gonna be working on, and then I gotta stop by the store and get some cat food for the cat because she's straight out. So yeah, so uh, we're gonna do just a little bit of driving, and then uh, I'll probably leave all that out of here because you guys have seen me 
Yeah. Anyways, uh, let's go to AutoZone and get her chef. I'll show you what I picked up. Got this coffee table, see what it is. Because, you know, we need to prep the surface um, before we paint. Prime and paint. I got some 180. Uh, just going off of what I think it was the Bondo I was looking at, or was it this? This is the other thing I got. Bed armor. This is what we're going to do the lower body line with, and then we'll paint over it with the color that I want to use. Uh, yeah, this says use a scouring pad, 180 grit, or 180 grit sandpaper. Because this just needs a surface that is clean, scuffed up, and then it has something to adhere to. So I just got one of these. Um, might get more later, but for right now I just got the one. This was like $4.99 from AutoZone. And then this is what I got. Just body filler. Just a small tub. This was, I think this was $11. I don't know what I do with my receipt. But yeah. Bondo. Never bought this stuff before. Never used it. So. And so it takes. Oh, I should have got an 80 grit. I think I have 80 grit, but I don't. For the what I'm going to be doing shouldn't need that aggressive sandpaper but I got 180 <laughs> so yeah this will be interesting it's a water-based polyurethane coating easy to use low odor durable rubberized finish extends truck by life textured and flexible impact resistant coating on flake chip or peel excellent for uh, cutting and cutting in and or touch it okay whatever so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mask off where I want to work and then and then I gotta measure it make sure it's straight and then we'll uh, I'll have to tape that off too so yeah, we're gonna come, we'll be right about here. We're gonna come straight back. We'll kinda take care of this up with the filler. Fill this in, sand it all down. And then once that's good, then we'll go ahead and, um, you know, I think since I'm doing, well, you know what, we're gonna just take the paint right off. We're just gonna, we're gonna put a, a line down it and we're gonna take the flapper and we're just gonna take it down to bare metal. I'm going to reprimer it. Uh, we're going to bond to anything necessary to fill in our nonsense. And then once that's done, then we'll uh, hit it with the truck bed coating. I think that's going to be the plan, Tubes. So I'm going to go... just above that line. And then I'm gonna be something like this. I'm gonna eyeball it for right now. Sitting at call that eight and a quarter. I'm gonna go off the door. It's a straight line down here. So we're gonna go eight and three quarters off the door. That doesn't look right. Let's 
seven. What, are, what, are, what the hell did I just look at? I think I had the wrong number. Seven and a half now, apparently. So from the door, seven and a half. bottom end of the door, seven and a half. Does that look straight to you? Seven and a half. It's consistent. It's a, tight, it's a hair over seven and a half, so... straight to you guys? That's the thing about doing paint. Gotta make sure she's straight. It looks to me this curves a little bit, but I think that's pretty damn close. So that means There's a little scuff right here that goes up, but I think we could probably polish that out, actually. Noise alert! So, so should I uh, build off of this? I mean, look at that. We got like an eighth of an inch gap there. I'm almost thinking I'm just gonna take and I'm just going to um, just kind of blend this all in. And up here, can't really do that because that gap is there because of the fender. We don't want to bond that up because then it flexes and then it cracks. I'm gonna use a spoon to to get what I want. Look at that. That's bullshit. It's like it's like it's already been used, you know? Like guys. So I think a golf ball size is what we'll start with. That's about I think good enough for right now. And they said to apply an inch and a quarter for this size, about an inch and a quarter. But I got a little bit more than a golf ball, so we're gonna go like an inch and a half bead. That should be good. Put the cap back on that. Say to use this is actually more than what I need, but they say to use a little bit of pressure. Got to have some pressure to uh, adhere it. I'm actually going to put a, a layer on. It's already starting to. Hardened. It already hardened. <laughs> yeah, we gotta work faster. 
So, looks ugly, but that's why you gotta sand it down. I tried to blob this in, but you know what I'm not happy about is on my thing, it, there's some stuff that didn't get mixed in, so I'm probably gonna scrape that off and start over again. And I think I was a little too quick because I was worried it was gonna harden up, but it, I've got my, I just about got the mixing kind of down, like the speed, but you know, I'm running into that, so I'm gonna have to figure something out. So, I mean, this went okay, but I spent a little more time mixing. Yeah, but then I had, you know, I had to get it on there quick, you know, but this, I took a little bit less time mixing and was, yeah, just, I'm not, too thrilled with that so but what's gonna happen is that's not gonna harden but this is gonna harden so I'm gonna have to just yeah see like that I'm, just, I'm worried that that's not gonna harden you know it's not gonna harden because there's no hardener mixed into it so yeah we'll see what happens this is gonna take about a half hour to cure so I'm going to let that set up. I'm going to go inside and sit down for a little bit. camera wasn't recording uh, I just taped off all this and sprayed some automotive primer on it and um, yeah so I just sprayed it real lightly I could probably do a better job with my Bondo setup I could probably sand it down more because I'm seeing some little ridges here, but because I'm putting the, uh, where is it, this truck bed liner on here, this stuff, um, I'm not really too worried about it. I just want it sealed up so that when I wash my truck, it uh, doesn't fill up with water and then doesn't continue to rust. At least this will kind of minimize it. But later, I have a feeling um, we're going to be coming back in here and cutting this out and rust stopping whatever's going on in there. And then I'll probably have to put some kind of moisture barrier in the truck and then weld in a new piece. Almost had a disaster there. I'll just see what it looks like when it dries. But I think that's actually going to look pretty good if it's, you know, the, the actual texture. This They give you an example of what the texture is, and it's supposed to be like this where it's. But if it comes out smoothish, if it, if it looks like this when it's dry, 
I think I'm going to be happy with it. And then we're going to go over it with the cream color, so. <laughs> I like it. So, just imagine that. Where this blue tape is. It's right about here is where it ends. Just imagine that all down the truck. All down here. So I haven't gone too crazy with it, so I might actually go back to my original idea of just taping it right off of this line and then covering, getting this whole part painted. Um, and then any other imperfections that are left behind without overlapping them and going higher, well, they're just going to have to be there until they get dealt with later on, so. I'm going to let it dry and then we'll peel that tape off and we're going to see how how that looks and just kind of imagine the rest of the truck like that and then uh, we'll go from there I got overspray on the camera jeez Jimmy I'm gonna have to be get I'm gonna have to get a new camera soon this one's getting pretty tired well used we've been using the same camera for the last six years five or six years I think I got it in the beginning of 2013. Actually, can't remember. But that's okay. All right, so this actually came out pretty good. It almost hides. I, I could probably put a couple more coats on it, but it pretty much hides that work I did to it, and it looks pretty decent. That's still see right here. I'm gonna have to take a razor blade and just clean this up. I'll just sand this down and then respray it when we go to do another coat. So let's take all this off and let's see how it see how it looks. I used to really not like painting, but you know what? As I've gotten older, I've learned how to be a little better about it or how to be better at painting and I think I'm getting to a point where I would feel comfortable about actually painting this truck myself it just preparation is, is it's really the, that's the key right there See, look at that the tapes pulling stuff out of it. Just don't know if I like that line a whole lot. but then it may not be set up all the way. I also thought about putting another pinstripe job on it. Like put a pin, like, what are we gonna do? I think I'll probably let it set up longer. That's probably what it is. You gotta let it set up a little bit longer before you peel the tape. It hasn't quite been an hour, so it's not fully cured. You see, my uh, the tape is actually pulling the bumps out of here. It looks like this could probably just sand it down and just. Well, we're gonna leave that one there. Probably just sand it down really good. Just get all the loose paint and stuff off, clean it up, and then we'll repaint it. I think the bottom of the truck was that. So basically, from here all the way down black and then we paint over it with a cream color so yeah just imagine all the way down here so we go past here all the way up probably come down I'm gonna go over this way not sure what I'm gonna do with that big Cummins thing I might Might have it come off, it'll be here, and then 
and then it'll hit the line. Maybe this part here will come up a little higher. And then once we come up and hit this line, then we'll just follow the line. Do something like that. I'm going to leave that as it is right now because we're actually, I'm going to go over it. It's going to get hit with a few more coats. So I only did two coats and it looks fairly thick. I could probably, once it sets up, we could probably knock those edges down and then paint over it. And I'll probably, cause this is where I want to go. I got to think about how I want to do it because I, I want to try and overlap the next coat of paint so it seals off these edges, but I may may just stick with what I got. Yeah, anyways, Tubes, I think that's going to be it for today. Uh, thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. Tell your friends to come and check us out, subscribe, and uh, we'll catch you next time. Also, our viewer Dion sent us 30 bucks, and thanks Dion. So that went right into that so I can get my clutch line. Hopefully I'll get that on there. I could use it this week because air conditioning. Okay, now we're now I'm going. Bye.